If you clicked on this video, the chances are you want to know how to master poker, which I'm going to tell you. But I'm also going to tell you how to use Aperture to your advantage in all of your photos. So let's go. What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel where I make tutorials and reviews to help you guys up the quality of your photos and videos. So Aperture, what exactly is it? Technically, aperture is the size of the hole which light is let through onto your DSLR sensor. Now, this is going to be displayed as a number after the letter F. Now, a smaller number is actually a bigger aperture, and a bigger number is actually a smaller aperture. So, a big aperture is a big hole, and a small aperture is a small hole. So, if you think about it, a bigger hole means more light is going to get onto your camera sensor, which means the photo is going to be brighter. Now, to use manual mode on your camera successfully, you're going to need to know how to use aperture and shutter speed together, because otherwise you'll have a photo which is either too bright or too dark. But now, I know what you're thinking, how does this actually relate to bokeh? Well, technically, bokeh is just where part of the photo is completely blurred out. Now, to achieve this, you're going to want to use a big aperture, because a big aperture creates a small depth of field. Now, a small depth of field means only a small part of the photo is actually in focus. If you do this, then, if you focus on the foreground, then everything in the background will be blurred out and it will look like bokeh. Now, if you think about it, the opposite of this is using a small aperture. What a small aperture is going to give you is a large depth of field, which means that more things in the frame will be in focus. If you're taking a landscape shot, most of the time you'll be using a small aperture, but if you're taking a product photo, for example, most of the time you'll be using a larger aperture, so you get that nice bokeh in the background. A lot of the time you'll be using such a big aperture that part of the thing that you actually want in focus won't be in focus and that means you need to use some focus stitching and if you want to learn how to do that I have a tutorial it will be linked up there. Now just to give you a bit of context about lenses and their aperture if you buy a new DSLR which comes with a kit lens most of the time that's aperture is going to be from f3.5 to f5.6 now most of the time as you zoom in on a lens the aperture is actually going to get smaller. So that is what the f3.5 to the f5.6 bit means. If you want a larger aperture on your lens, what you're going to have to do is buy a more expensive lens, which is also known as a prime lens. Now you can get these for about £150, and they're a pretty good investment if you just want to upgrade your lenses a little bit. So that just about wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you got something out of it. If you want to stick around for more tutorials and you want to learn more about your camera, then please subscribe. And don't forget to leave a like rating and a comment, it really does help the channel. But yeah, for now guys, thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.